Hi guys, my name is Lemmy and today I show you what you need for preparing crypt runs, crazy crypt runs. Uh, with crypt runs we mean uh, that you can crypt on the Feats of Mystery in Act 1. Uh, you have to be lucky to find it. It's only sometimes here. Maybe you need 5 games to find it. There are two possible spawn points for this crypt. It's here, right on the top side or left bottom side. As you can see, I search for the crypt and then I start the video. Um, at first, the equipment I have here a life on hit weapon with high strength and high vitality and a socket and low damage. Low damage is really important because you're not allowed to kill some enemies. Um, then... Yeah, you see I have a lot of vitality oh, almost over 200k life and I have over 6k armor. I get so much armor because I focus on strength um, yeah, on every single item I looked at I get more strength. Ice climbers with strength are very expensive um then the next thing is yeah high vitality of two and k life what makes me more tanky also the all rest six over six hundred I have so I always look that I have all rest person to life vitality maybe extra armor uh yeah strength vitality resistance life person extra armor that stuff. Um, yeah, uh, because life on hit is really nice. Uh, yeah, life on hit is better than life steal because I have low damage. Um, the next thing is my skills here the Locust Run with Pestilence, which is the most important ability to prepare the run. As a cloud uh, heals you up to full life. Because uh, for you have the life on hit, you have a big pack, you use one, two times as a cloud and you're full life. Uh, I use the spirit walk because because if I get uh, surrounded by a lot of enemies or stuck, uh, I use it and can go ahead through the crypt. Soul harvest I use for... Uh, <coughs> yeah, soul harvest with swallow your soul if I need mana yeah, if I have some enemies here I need mana I use it and then I can spam more the Essex out and uh, if I have cooldown spirit block for example you'll see that later if I play I have here the horrify uh, also if I have cooldown on spirit block and try to um, yeah, horrify them and just go on and the Wall of Zombies is really nice for the Decaying Crypt level 2 because if you don't want to have these monster packs uh, on the event you can use it, they are stuck uh, in this corner and you can do later with your group the event on level 2 without killing some monster packs so you can focus on 5 stacks and then you go on on the monster pack. Uh, then I use the spirit vessel. Yeah, it saves you a lot of time, I think so. Uh, maximum mana is really nice. I, I mean, spirit for the two meant to have you more mana because you have to spend a lot of mana. And the blood ritual. Uh, you see, it's a very tanky build. And now let's go to the crypt. Through the crypt, I explain also for preparing the run. Um, as you can see, I use here the locust swarm, and this this ability is jumping from enemy to enemy. You see, they're spitting, and I just go ahead. Don't waste much time. Uh, I search level two, go into level two, um, prepare there a little bit, then I move completely back. Because I think they have a cooldown of spitting ads to the ground.
what makes the run more impressive is if you have more people who can prepare. Maybe one guy can prepare the Weeping Hollow or one guy can prepare the Fields of Misery. You also should have a guy who can prepare the League Groups and if you look at that, this means 4 people. If you have completely a full group, 4 people, uh, <coughs> yeah, sorry, I got a little code. Um, if I have 4 people, it's a full group, everyone can prepare something, and it's a very nice, it's a very nice use of time. So you, you don't waste time. If the people are AFK in town, this, this makes no sense. If they can prepare also something, it's the best thing what you can do. Sometimes you have really annoying packs like this one because of this walls. This makes the preparing a lot more annoying. Uh, as you can see, I prepared alone. Especially for the video later, I do it. I do the run with a group if I go with my stream online. Uh, yeah, search level 2, explore the crypt. You see, I, my life is a little bit jumping. <coughs> I, al I also wait. Um, you see there's a wall up pack and I wait a little bit for the walls then I use my spirit walk always spam my locust farm to, to get the, to make the run incredible really incredible maybe we're lucky and we find us an experience shrine in the crypt level 2 maybe in the deck corner I think so. No, it isn't. So there must be one more way. Yeah, this is so annoying. This was, but it's it's really not bad if you ha if you have have to do the crypt more times. I say learning by doing. Some people try to prepare a run and it's. I think these enemies are low, there are not so many enemies and you should be able to prepare better. Yeah, learning by doing. Oh, let's go upstairs. Yeah, it's also important that you go to every single corner through the map. I see there is a mana not spitting, I wait. Wait near to the mother. And there is it, level 2. I see there's a corner. I should go also one time there. Now I, I'll show you exactly why this. Uh, well, zombies is nice. You see, they're stuck there. I use the spirit walk and they don't follow me. Okay, this bat should follow me totally. There's a corner with some models. Yeah, they spit two times really fast and the other two times it's it's a cooldown. I'll wait a little bit. I spit it two times, I think so. That wall of zombies. This corner also some models. You just go on with preparing and preparing. I know that this will be a longer video, but it's it's a good video. It's a good video. I get hit at it. Use my icy cloud. Then it heals me up. I just spam it a little bit. I think there are not 
could not really spawn some enemies. Let's go back. <coughs> now I'll go one time completely back through the crypt. Um, yeah, then I go again to level 2 and then we can start the run. This is how I prepare the crypt. Because if you move to level 2, they split 1-2 times. If you go back because of the cooldown, they split again. And if you go to level 2 again, the, the fourth time. The fastest way to prepare the, the crypt is you have more if you have more preparing witch doctors. <coughs> and one is there, one is there, one is there. This is this will be the fastest way for the run. So the people don't have to wait a long time if you do the run. Um Yeah, let's go back. If I get stuck, I use my spirit walk, but at the moment it works fine. See I'm not killing some enemies, just go ahead. Spamming most of the time my locust swarm. <coughs> yeah, the attack is not enough. That uh, that the spewing horrors spawn some ads to the ground. You have to go in range to them, and then they spit. Let's go one time here in a circle. See that? Um, I'm close to the mothers, then they spit the heads to the ground. And my locust swarm is jumping and jumping and jumping. Uh, it sounds a little bit crazy. <laughs> here because this area we should also prepare good. I saw there are many models. Maybe you die because of lags. This will be the most possible thing what can happen to you. I need more mana. I've cooled down on everything. Let's go one time again to this corner. I go to every single corner because if you do, if you miss a corner, it, it could be possible that you miss five models. This means our 50, 60 ads, something like that. See, I never was in this corner. Now wait a little bit because this bit two times really fast. You see that? Second time. And this boss is so annoying. This boss are the most annoying thing what you can have. I'm sorry that there's no music in the video, but I'm careful with the copyrights. I saw the teens videos and also Swifties. I know that these are the most popular streamers or gamers also sponsored by race and many people look forward to it. be like them I usually like to do that stuff help people out 
sharing with them what I know, what is my experience. If I get supported then I'm really then I say a big thank you to that. If, if not I still like to do it. Everything is free here. Now I go to level 2. You see there are so many models. Now it, it, it can happen that I got a lag. It's also unbelievable that many people don't know this group runs. They never saw a group run. If you want to go on with Paragon level then do this group runs. Of course in softcore. On hardcore, you c can't risk it. The legs, you can't risk it. Oh, I get stuck here. The horrify was not enough. I spent the acid cloud. I know I don't kill some enemies with that ability. <coughs> yeah. Uh. What makes a uh, barbarian better than the witch doctor is if you have a pack, an elite pack with jailer, um, yeah, you can ignore it. With your berserker, also frozen ability, you can go on what you do. You just can go on with the prepare. I spit it now about three, four times. <coughs> I wait this model is spitting some ads, yes. Yeah you can it you can call it models, spewing horrors, what which is the exact name. You see? My passive saved now my life. Because I get stuck because of the war. Oh I spam a little bit uh, The acid cloud, if I die, yeah, it can happen. It's not the best thing if you die, it can be good because you go again through the crypt. Now I didn't wait at the cooldown because of the walls. Let's wait a little bit. See that walls? Now they remove it, and now I go can go ahead here. I also fail sometimes. Don't worry, nobody's perfect. <coughs> These walls are so annoying. Sometimes you find two elite packs with walls and this is done. I used it too early, let's use the time, go the other way, I fear them, and I can go this way, maybe they, they spit again, on three times you can focus, don't focus on the four times because it will, yeah it needs a lot more time. Just going ahead like that. If there's a bit more ads, it's nice. If not, then not. I see this one bed has low life. I get stuck through the wall. Passive, save my life. <coughs> and of course, if you don't have a CM wizard and you do the run, then maybe the spit again. 
as I said, three or four times this bit, some ads to the ground. If you find some ghost packs, it's really nice if you kite them close to level 2 and it tries to do the ghost pack. Or any other annoying pack which can fly. There are only ghosts or these plague carriers. Can be so annoying. <coughs> this way, there was two times. Let's go upstairs. Should spit again. I don't want to wait too much time. And I'm there again. If I stay close to another pack, then I go a little bit back and use my locust drum again there. Now there are no models, I can ignore them. <coughs> One time to the corner. Now they should spit against the mats. They should. Four models and this are about 20 ads. So the spit is only two times. Which is not much. But don't waste too much time. You see, they spit another third time. It's always too bad to do um, a crypt run, which is a little bit prepared, then. Yeah, then. It's better than you do a crypt which is not prepared. I can prepare it good but maybe not good enough. Okay, this was the preparing. Uh if you have some friends that are on the ex on the correct character they wanna do the run. Um yeah they come they can jump to you, port out, so they have to teleport. Uh, the one guy who prepared the stacks and fast string woods, uh, preparing the stacks, it means to hit the elite packs to low life, to really low life. Uh, so the packs are really easy to kill and it's yeah quite simple. Uh, if one is preparing the Weeping Hollow, maybe I'm going to make also a video for for that Weeping Hollow preparing. There are also these models, and yeah, you c you just go like in a circle and uh, get close and close into the mid together. Uh, what else? Yeah, the fields of misery preparing. That would be a barbarian battle because of the ranching stomp. You can do it also as a witch doctor or any other class which can kite and not killing some enemies. Um, preparing the fits of misery means to make yeah three four packs from enemies from the whole fits of misery. Uh, you can kite all to one place, but the game will only lag. If you have uh, many effects like uh, two CM wizards, the 
you spend more time into the decks than the run, which makes no sense. Um, this is why you should free for packs, so so it's playable. And the next important thing is also if you have a CM wizard, invite only one guy. Invite only one CM wizard. It's also important for the crypt because uh, I yeah one time I did the crypt with two CM wizards with two boom swords and this. No. It's more frustrating, it makes not really fun to grind the paragon levels if you have most of the time lags. You spend about half an hour more time because the game is so laggy. And this makes really no sense. Yeah. Um also very important if you have the teleport. Don't use your port again. If you do the stacks and festering woods you find there the two caves two and they're always here the two two stacks every time mo yeah most of the time three stacks sometimes also it's possible to find six six uh, <coughs> with six things where you get stacks like the two caves, then two packs outside, one event or two events. Uh, you also can prepare the event. You should not kill all enemies from the event, just have one alive. Uh, if it is, uh, this, a unique guy, you know, a guy with a violet name, or yeah, with a purple name then. You can hit him low, but take care, they die really, really quick. Uh, what makes the run also a little bit better, if, they, if, the, if the guy who is preparing the stacks, if he kites the packs, or the last guys from the pack, uh, near to the cave, because it's only one way. You're killing them, jump into the cave, da da, you have 3 stacks. You only need to prepare 3 stacks, you can also prepare 4 stacks, then you don't have to do the event. So if you wanna really wanna level like crazy with a lot of speed, then it's really nice to have experience trying that everything is prepared, 4 stacks and then the treasure, you 5 and just go on. Do the crypt backwards, then the fields of misery, and then the weeping hollow if everything of that is prepared. Uh, yeah, guys, I think that was all what I can say. Maybe you like my new design, my new overlay um, for Twitch, for live streaming, and doing the videos for the other three. Uh, yeah, now I go online with my stream. Thanks for watching, I hope I can, uh, I was able to help some people, uh, yeah, check it out, my livestream channel, uh, it's twitch.tv slash lemmy123456789, just the numbers 1 to 9, and yeah, if you wanna, s if you wanna know when I come online, uh, just follow me on Twitch or I'm also on Twitter, Facebook. It's ev you can find everything on the Twitch page. Also on the YouTube profile, I think so. Okay, keep it up, guys. Thanks for watching and thanks for every single subscriber. See you soon.